Greetings, this is September 2nd at 5 p.m. and a viewer sent me in this photograph from the Pit Lake area in the Lower Mainland uh, asking if this might be the haze from the Elephant Hill wildfire. I felt it was a little too far away but then I went to the Worldview map and looked and you know it's hard to say it could be clouded it could also be this bank of smoke that is now sitting over the southern interior of British Columbia. Let's go to Windy right now and see this pattern that's occurring. If you look to the center of your screen, uh, we're taking a measurement uh, right about the fire line, 20 kilometers an hour coming from the west. But if you see, there's it's right at a split. Uh, anything north is coming from the northwest. Anything south is coming from the southwest. So we've got uh, a variation in winds and they're all kind of meeting at the fire front. So if we look at the forecast, it's, it's coming in at about 19, uh, it's gusting to 45 and this shift is occurring right now. So it's going to slow down to 13 kilometers an hour but it may gust up to 55, 56 kilometers an hour from the northwest. So essentially it's the wind is rotating around and it may actually blow the fire back in on itself and that would be ideal. Let's take a look at the infrared now. Uh, this is the VIIRS system and we're showing data from 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and as you can see a few concentrations of new infrared on the fringe areas. I'm looking on Mount Jim and I'm also looking towards Little Green Lake Road and North Bonaparte Road intersection. Uh, these we've suspected are controlled burns and uh, a control strategy at work. We've seen them going for uh, a couple of days now and they I have read on their bulletins that they were doing some procedures in the area. But the overall expansion has been held. There's no increase towards Sheridan Watch or towards Highway 24. And if we look southwest to Green Lake, there's no expansion there either. Uh, it's being held at North Bonaparte Road, uh, north about a kilometer. And south towards Hutchison, I'm seeing six or so uh, random outside new hotspots uh, north of the lake, uh, approximately a kilometer, and another set at two kilometers. South of Pressy, I am seeing a new group approximately four or five kilometers south, southeast. Uh, but the wind should be in your favor in this regard. There uh, could be a flare-up. They could also be uh, crews dealing with a specific fuel pocket. I've seen no change at Young Lake. Uh, I'm taking a look further south. There's some new six-hour spots between the pipeline and 551 or Brigade Road. Uh, there are also another group, maybe six or seven, that are on the other side of the road to the east and they've, they appear to have expanded slightly on the fringe areas so we're going to have to watch that section and moving south to High Heam, no real change also north to Loon Lake, no change at all I am seeing one new hot spot left of center on your screen that's just south of High Heam Creek and High Heam North Road I'm seeing minimal change in the fire pocket to the southeast of High Heam. However, on that fire pocket on the northern flank, you can see one new hotspot trying to creep towards the pipeline to go northwest, but that may actually blow back on itself and it, it could be part of a controlled burn strategy. South towards 5040 Road and Battle Creek area, I'm not seeing any change at all, so that's very good news. I am noticing one hot spot south of the High Heam fire area. It looks about 500 meters or a kilometer uh, southeast along the uh, old High Heam Scotty Creek Road. Let's switch now to the NRC data for some confirmation. We're looking at the northern flank and again no significant change. 
a few of these outlying sparks or uh, isolated hot spots and then when we go to the 12 hour and 6 hour maps I'm seeing a lot of this controlled patterning a lot of diagonal activity in the infrared and when we go to the 6 hour map nothing new um, this infrared data came a little bit earlier than the Google KML bundle information that we were looking at before. So we're going to go to the MODIS system on the Google Earth bundle and again seeing confirmation of what we already know. Uh, no significant expansion or growth in the northern perimeter. And if we zoom back, uh, again those isolated hotspots on the southern side of these fire pockets we've got to watch for that because this wind shift's going to occur and it's going to come from the northwest so we're not quite out of it yet we have to uh, carry on tonight but the wind speed should be dying down and that's very good news the crews have done an amazing job this afternoon um, i just want to extend my appreciation for what they're doing they're they're putting it on the line for us. I'll check back when I got new information. Check the description because often I'll post updates in the description. So thank you very much.